Would you like to become a fascinating personality, break free from plateaus and gain power over your mental resources and your full potential? You came to the right place. Welcome to a magical journey to yourself. This show is made in Germany. If you like the show, please subscribe on iTunes, Spotify, or PureMindMagic.club. Welcome to Season 1, Shaping Your Reality. And here is your host, international magician, speaker, and book author, Victoria Mavis. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pure Mind Magic and the midweek motivation. If you haven't already, please rate and review the show and share Pure Mind Magic with your friends. I would appreciate that so much because that helps me grow the show and you can help me do that. Before, I have another cool trick today for you about the powerful music trick to focus even better. I wanted to mention that I really did a great interview with Brampton Batman from Canada. Batman is really living as a real superhero in real life, being out at night helping the police doing their work. And I have done a video for this exclusive episode. It is number 33, so you can go back and check that out. It is on YouTube and a lot of people have already left some great comments. So check it out and I promise it will be really inspiring because you see Batman, how he shows us his cave and also his bad mobile very interesting and just very special and in a sense i think just magical so i picked today the topic of music and especially how you can use music to improve your focus you know we magicians are masters of distraction when we are on stage we do everything to distract your attention from what is really going on to create an illusion for you and giving you a good time and we all know that when it comes to work it's very essential to focus on what is important and to get things done without having these distractions popping up the whole time like notifications from facebook from youtube or other messengers on whatsapp coming in and emails and all that because our brain needs about seven to 10 minutes to return to focus to what we are actually doing in that very moment. So you lose a lot of energy by being distracted when you really would like to get something done. And I guess you love music like everyone is doing and everyone has their own taste when it comes to music. And we all know that music definitely influences us. So think about being in the cinema and the film music. And I learned when I studied film that it is best when it doesn't get noticed, but it influences us and our perception of the pictures we are seeing. And when you watch like MTV music videos, it is like take off the music and these are just a bunch of strange pictures sometimes edited in mysterious ways together but with the music behind it 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 has really this amazing feeling and it creates all these emotions and these very strong pictures you see there so Music also has the power to change our mood in an instant. So when you don't feel well and you switch on your favorite song, it really can power things up and change your mood in an instant because the music has this emotional frequency traveling to you. And we know that we learn better when we listen to classic music like Mozart and also there are studies that it seems to reduce crime when they play music like and uh, train stations at night. 
So very interesting the power there is to music. And when we think of sports, it is said that you do a 20% better performance when you listen to music while you are working out or while you are running. So this is pretty big, I think, and can help obviously or no more hopefully the same effect our podcast could have too that would be nice but i don't think so but yeah the music definitely has and it also can be an anchor for something specific like when you had a deep emotional moment something that meant a lot to you and you have connected that in your mind to a special song this is also very strong and can act as an anchor like in NLP and whenever you listen to this song it releases all the endorphins endorphins and makes you feel really good so this is also a good tip when you look at your vision board on listening to a special song it enhances the connection in your brain and really brings emotion into the process instead of just looking at some nice pictures in front of you but now i promised you a trick because this is pure mind magic and there is some magic in this podcast And the trick is that you really can enhance your focus of whatever you are doing when you put a song on repeat, meaning you loop it and the song is repeating and repeating and repeating. So that helps your brain to focus on the task you are doing at the moment without so many distractions. And I really found out that even Tim Ferriss does that. And there is a whole book on that and it is called On Repeat, How Music Plays the Mind by Elizabeth Helmuth Margulis. I will put that in the show notes for you so you can check that out in case you're really interested in learning more about how you can trick your own brain to yeah, deliver a higher performance in the end. And there is also... A very good book, what I love so much. It's one of my favorite books from Benjamin Hardy that is called Willpower Doesn't Work. And in this book, he mainly discusses your environment and what changes you can make in your environment to really improve your life. And he also talks about this trick and how you include that together with your environment to make some significant changes and really change the results you are getting with your work. And you know what? There's also a cool website for this. It is called listenonrepeat.com and that website helps you to put a song you found on YouTube on repeat. So very simple. I will put that in the show note as well. You just can click on it and maybe you have found an interesting and very nice song that inspires you at the moment on YouTube and you can directly make use of this cool trick with this one link or you dive deeper by checking out the two books I recommend on that. And Maybe one more book talking about focus and being in the right mood to work. There is this very famous book called Deep Work. I will put a link of that in the show notes as well. I myself am listening to that at the moment as an audiobook in my car while I'm driving to the shows. And I really like it. So there is profound and really solid knowledge in that and maybe you like listening to audiobooks as well i just love it especially when i'm stuck in traffic so i don't have the feeling that i waste my time and i became partner of a platform where you can get your first audiobook completely for free i think they have around 150,000 different so you can pick for yourself and with my affiliate link you definitely get get the first 30 days for free and just can check out the service if you like it or 
not and grab your free book. For this, you will also find a link here in the show notes. So check it out, let me know. And I'm always happy to hear from you when some of the kind of magic tricks help you to improve your life and to design your life to the reality you really would like to have. So that's all for today, the midweek motivation. I have an interesting interview for you on Friday with Rachel Haslin talking about hypnosis on a very deep level and how you can use self-hypnosis and hypnosis in general to change your beliefs, to get rid of all the blockages you have from your past, to really move on and being the best version of yourself and unfolding your full potential. So this will be interesting. Make sure to tune in on Friday. Until next time, create some magic.